Welcome to the program. This is uh, part two of 100,000 men march in the streets of Dusseldorf here in Germany. And as we said that Mazen Nandekano, he is a British citizen under the extraordinary tradition from Kenya by the British government, Nigerian government, and the counterpart. This is part two of this program. If you have not watched the part one, go to Idubiafra TV slash radio and watch the part one of this program. We are now streaming live on the part two and telling the whole world that Nam the Kano is nothing but a controversial freedom fighter, activist, a father, a husband, an uncle, who is fighting for the freedom of their people, my people, your people, so that we can be able to have our freedom. Today, the 24th of July, 2021 in the street of Dusseldorf, the headquarter of IPOB Worldwide. The international law of the Geneva guarantee the safety of our leader Mazen Namdekano. But Nigerian government decided to break the law of another country, which is Kenya, President Kunyata received tons of money in order to betray his own people. That is why we are here to demand for the freedom of our leader, Mazen Namdekano, on the 26th of July, 2021. My name is Thirman Mazi, Madin Kemba. Kendale Nwa Chineke, a bona fide active member of IPOB, and also an active financial member here reporting live on this part two. If you have not watched the part one, I encourage you to go to the Idubi Afra TV slash radio. My first speaker used to be the mayor himself. Speak to us again. Um, I'll help you, Afra. Uh, you have, as you can see, if you are following these brokers, you will see how formidable we are. You will see how focused we are, and you will see how determined we are. Listen to me. You can never compare hardworking people with terrorist people, and you can never compare hardworking people with criminality. And what Nigeria is practicing is criminality, and that is why we, that is disciplined, we want to. Be, we want to make sure we leave this contraption called Nigeria. Uh, there is a difference between Mohammed and uh, Mecca, and there is difference between uh, Mecca and uh, Mohammed. We don't have the same God, we don't have the same culture, we don't have the same religion. We are calling on our people, we are calling on all the Efulefu in, in government who think they are enjoying their life. They should know that they should do the right thing now. And we are calling on the Britain, we are also calling on Nigeria government to make sure that uh, Nothing happened to Mazin Namdikalo because if anything happened to Mazin Namdikalo, what they are seeing now is going to is, is going to be time three of what they are going to see. And we are calling on our people back home to stay safe from this terrorist police, from this terrorist army. And we are calling our people to make sure we are to make sure they are focused, to make sure they don't entertain any distraction. We are calling on our people to any country you are. And I repeat, any country you are, come out and join your brothers and sisters in this march. We must speak for the next generation. Our gener we can never fail this generation. We can never fail our generation. And we are calling on anywhere you are. If you are in Brazil, come out on 26. If you are in Rome, come out on 
on 26. I am, I am, I am reporting here live from this door. Um, no, every, anything you do, the history will remember that you speak against the evil going on. You speak about the killings going on. Our mothers are being raped. Our mothers can no longer go to farm. But yet, uh, but yet the Allah have taken responsibility of what has been happening. And we are calling our people to stand up and join any protest that is going on. It's your right. It's your right to speak now. If you refuse to speak, if you refuse to speak, your children will never be proud of you. If you refuse to speak, your children will never be proud of you. If you refuse to speak, your children will never be proud of you. Because social media is there to remind them that their father was once here in Dusseldorf, that their father was once here in Germany, that their father was once somewhere in Italy, that their father speak up, that the generation of their father speak up. Even if my generation didn't get Biafra, my children will continue. If my children didn't get Biafra, their children will continue. It's an ideology that can never be defeated. I am calling on every Biafra. Don't say that because you have a motor in Germany. You, it doesn't matter. This is not your land. You are not a white man and you can never be a white man. We are calling on our people. Stand up. Stand up. Leave all this one one hero job. Leave all this 10 10 hero job. Come and fight your freedom. The white man can never go to Africa and leave. We want to go back to our home. We are calling on our people. The children are here. Your root is at stake. Your root is at stake. These children can never go to Africa. If you refuse to speak, one day they will call Emeka and no trace to Emeka. One day they will call a Chamaka, no trace to Chamaka, because Chamaka is answering Henzi, Henzi Schmissel in Germany. That is what we are fighting for. We are, don't think we are mad. Don't think we are crazy. We, are, you, we, we have doctors here. We have engineers here. We have nurses here. We are here. I drive six hours to be here this morning. Don't think we are crazy. Don't think we are mad. I am calling on every Biafra and anywhere you are. Stand up. Stand up. Bilezo won't work it. Bilezo won't work it now. Speak up. Don't think 1,000 euro, 2,000 euro. It is nothing. Those houses you are building, one day you will see that it's nothing. Your generation matters. Your lineage. Your lineage is going. Your lineage is going. Your lineage is going. Stand up. Thank you, my brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Don't think that what we are here to do is to entertain your stupidity, but what we are here to do is to protest so that our children can be able to live a better life. The type of life that we will not be able to have, that is what we are making sure that we protest to get it for our children. We want them to free Mazin and the Kanu, he's our savior. We only want them to free Mazin and the Kanu, we are tired of being Nigerians. We don't want one Nigeria anymore. Thank you very much. What we want is for them to free Mazen Nam the Kano unconditionally. Why you make one you speak to us? What I want to say that the Nigerian government should free our leader. We are tired of that country, that country without no law, country without no human rights. So what are we doing with the country? Let us go and we are, the marriage is over, it's over. But the only thing I want to tell you, if anything that happened to Nam the Kano, they should take themselves that they are finished. Talking about releasing Mazen Nam the Kano, Nigerian government, Kenya, British, they broke the law of 1953 convention, which protects an activist, somebody like Mazen Nam the Kano, a controversial activist, in order for them to suppress what we are doing. Can they suppress what we are doing? Look, they cannot do anything because it's written from the Bible that you must be free. And we don't be free with violence. We are doing it in a peaceful way. They should give us time to go. They should give us to go. Give us referendum. That's what we are asking. Thank you very so much. So that people can vote and think if we are going to still believe. We are living in Europe. We are a democratic country. We have people decide what they want to happen to their lives. Yeah. So it's not by fault that we have to stay together. Because we are not, not the same. Culture, religion, every mentality we are completely different. Can you face this? I said I will see the crowd. Talk to me. Talk to me, sir. No, 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 no. All right. Why did you make this distance? For our freedom. We want Biafra. And we want our leader.
Immediate. Unconditionally. Unconditionally. He should be released. I am sure most of us remember the assignment he gave to us for 150 days. Please. We should make it a point of religious duty to do that. Because 26 is a day. They wanted to harass us by telling us that uh, their friends are not allowed around the court, around the premises. They told us that, um, that they are on holidays. These are, you know, you know uh, most of the times when you listen to a man care, our leader, he knows them. He knows the buttons where he can press. And these people are very easy to be studied. If you are a scholar of Mars in Namdekano, just you can say, give me a ginger weed. All his behaviors by me looking at him, you can manipulate the ginger weed. The only problem, the only, the only power they have, because the government, the terrorist government has given them their weapons. That is why, because from our philosophy of life and the principle of life, and from the names we answer, Mando, we repair seriously life. We don't kill anyone. But when our madness we start, he used to say, and that guy, my leader, is a very intelligent guy. That is one thing you have, you have to put down in your brain. When he was abducted extraordinarily, rendition, very powerful criminal act. He, many guys were harassing and uh, trying to push us into action, bring down the zoo, explosion. But he had a word with the lawyer, with Paris de Joffo. DOS knows what they are doing. First of all, let us get them down. Let us get the dudes down. But that madness they are looking for, they will get it. They will get it. They will get it. If you don't release Martin Ambukano. But I don't think that they can do it. They know that... Um, <laughs> The pressure is on them, and that is a kind of time bomb. Yes. Dear friends, we are here today, and they know why we are here. And what we have to be doing every time is to remember Martin Namdekano in our prayers. Please. I enjoy everybody from every zone, those who are here and those who couldn't make it to this particular point, let us remember him. Because he is a prayerful human being. Very, very prayerful. But my, my spirit is telling me that the zoo, they cannot try nonsense on him. They cannot try nonsense on him. One other thing I will implore you to do, please, dear friends, from all corners of the dear friend province, or the dear friend land, make sure that you have a Twitter account. Twitter account. Those of you in IPOB Germany platform, very soon, we start. So we shall ask for your Twitter account because this is the only means we reach the government of you can talk to Trump, you can talk to Biden direct through the Twitter not Facebook Facebook is compromised everybody knows that the whole world they are keeping quiet about Biafra but one thing is very very funny that they did not understand we have second men. We went through their back. 
a powerful media. There is no part of the world that does not know about Biafra and what we are agitating for. This particular effort is from the world. We are sleepless over it. And we push it, we are pushing it day and night. When I look at what happens in social media, I become baffled. The image is there. The British is there. No matter that they are not helping us, we do the circulation ourselves. We do the media work ourselves. And that is what we encourage all of us to keep on keeping on the man from Abate they used to say. And let us make it a point of religious duty that gives this information to every corner of the head. I trust it. I trust you, dear friends. You've been doing it. And uh, I wish you continue. Don't relent. Don't give up. But for today, I am very much overwhelmed. I'm very, very happy. Many faces that I saw before, because we used to come here, we were to to United Nations office, they took us through the app and where I was, we were mad, you know, that day. We were on the road and they took us to the app and we were near the river, we took a track road to the United Nations office, I don't know what happened that day. Out, up here, United Nations office, yeah. Yeah, it was born, exactly. Yes, it was born. Born, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, their friends were been there. If, if I, if I were to take you back, to all the revelations of Martin Namdekan. I don't know who can tell me which one has never come. There is one that remains. One powerful revelation that remains. And that is at the end. They are from Moscow. At the end, they are from Moscow. Also Hamburg. Also Hamburg. I am calling, I am I thank every family in Northern Ham Westphalen and outside Northern Ham Westphalen that is here today. You, you see, we don't look at the money. We don't look at the cost. Most of us, we go and uh, we make a Let me put it this way. Just because we want to be here. Just because of the sake of Biafra. Because of your freedom. Can you imagine? Can you imagine when Biafra is free? Can you imagine how Dutchland will be empty? Who will, who will continue to stay here? After Biafra! Let me sleep! After Biafra! Nobody. And when we take all these prayers, all the experiences that we have gotten here, when we take them down, it will be wonderful. Speak to us. What are you here for? We are here because they, they hold our. our. When they are here, they are here because of our freedom. 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 They are here
you know, I need the dealer where men in your United invest. Because when they look at the guy, you have to do it. But I have an opportunity. So we are going home. We are going home. We want to go home. We want to go and stay in our own without any help or for any, any bastard. Because we are tired of all this colonial mindset. We, are, we, go, we want to be free. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mazin Namdekano is a British citizen. Mm -hmm. But the Kenya embassy, I mean Kenya government, British and Nigeria, mm -hmm. they connive together in order to abduct our leader, mm -hmm. to force him back to Nigeria, to, Nigeria. to face trial, mm -hmm. which they, they wanted to assassinate in 2012 that he ran his life. Mm -hmm. Can you explain more and to tell them that they don't have a case against us? One we we know Monago and Mana, one day only do I, if only on the milk water, all because of Nigeria Bandara. Because Nigeria, they, they don't have law, and what all law honey so. That is the reason why they can try all this thing. They you know they went and connived with Kenya. Because if I'm on Kenya, Bukandara, like, all, all the same thing, Kao. Even though, let them go and try it to, 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 to another civilized country. Whether they were, they will allow them. Okay, for example, Igbo, you know, simple Kotonu, they, they, they didn't allow them to take him to, to, to that zoo, you know? They are following court But issue, that is because but the Oduduwas are more united. United. Even, even though they know, That's even they are playful. hearing about the Kenya own. Fana no, Oku, Nkaina, Kenya, because they don't want to involve themselves in that trouble too. So they are taking careful because something had happened. Because the first they go to Odogu, and the, and the Odogu, they take from Mahu. That's why, and if I talk about the Odogu, they take from the other side. You know, but today in the Kuto Luka, in the Kaya Mama, who are Bello, I will not answer the bear for that. My hair, Udo, 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 High protest against uh, the uh, judicial killings and unconditional all release the atrocities of our lady they, they, are, they are committing against our people and it's our, our leader. One day, nda bago agwa kanado. Famara famara kaisi kado. Nanki bazwa. Aja goha na na hamari kibu ebruje ebru na. Nanki bazwa. Aja goha na hamari kibu ebru ebruje ebru na. Ano odo di. Aire kusike. Nanki bazwa. Watching <laughs> 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 which at 1953 convention of the international law prepared to yeah, as a controversial political activist, freedom fighter. Mm -hmm. But then, Nigerian, Kenya, and British, Konaibwa, where Buchi Teazo, and I talk about it. Why, why in the end of Nigeria, on a case against you have to have a legal institution. If it be the Nigerian were a legal institution. Why? Because when the Kanogeni have court case, on on a be his country home. Actually, I follow the army. Be the army. Be the army. Be the So, on a new, on a snag, we have a lot of people. Of course. So, it's the case that we have a new We follow. Man, it's the mad new game. We have a lot of people. So, on a new game, we date. It's a local date, yeah. You better be a volunteer, okay? You better be busy. You better be mad. It's here, yeah. No, no, be a nature. So at that point, it's in the land, yeah. Man, I be. Where we could draw the Afro from? At that point, it's in the land, yeah. Man, I be. And at that point, he may be busy. If any may ane, you have to go. At that point, he may be that judicial order we in place in the court. So here, yeah, man, I be. It's a system which many people don't know. Britain, Chaka, Africa, can do it all because some of the Afro come out now, just like it's happening in Rwanda now that the Tutsi and Lucy come together. The Afro come out now, and we will be progress. Then other African countries and other African nationalities, like Yoruba, Chanti, whatever, whatever, they will start seeing what is happening. Far away from because even though Germany, you know Germans, equal France, you know French. 
England, for English people, you call me If you Africa, you call Nigeria. If Fasa, if Igbo, if Yoruba, if Funke, Funke, that's confusion. What go? Oh no, Abuna. Okay. I don't keep on can one no Igbo. I don't keep on can no Igbo. I have not seen the kind of way we can. This are this message is goes direct to the so-called presidency, which are Patani, Malami, uh, Shegumi. Like the uh, uh, commander of uh, Bandit. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Are, I don't even know. Why is this Shegumi still free? As in, I don't understand. As in, why are you leaving Shegumi to be roaming about freely and you are arresting a man who is trying to find progress for his people? Shegumi is somebody who said that full of terrorists. That they are not terrorists, that they are hungry. And they are looking for money. And the people who are trying to progress their nationality, and you are calling them terrorists. So you see that I don't even understand why this man is free to start with. When I you say progressing even, that I, country, meaning that we are demonstrating with our flag. We are demonstrating with our flag. We are since we are here, how many hours? Who is fighting with anybody here? We are doing our thing peacefully. Everybody is know what we came here to do. We didn't come here to do rubbish or just stuff like. We came here to say our mind peacefully for people who are peacefully ready to listen to us but now somebody like Sheikh Gomi said that we are terrorists and people who take guns and kidnap small kids and old women and married women and pregnant women and cut out the baby in their stomach and he said that these people are hungry what does a pregnant woman with the baby in her stomach have to do with your hunger are you eating small babies I don't understand so when you Asking a question about Nandekano and putting Shegomi in it is like a degradation because Shegomi is not in a... He's a terrorist. I can say that. No, he's, he's not, a terrorist. He's not a degradation because you know, we are still on the contraption called Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And the people who are committing the crimes, they are mm -hmm. not being killed. Mm -hmm. Nobody arrests them. Yeah, because it's organized for them because it benefits but them. Look we, at the north. Look at even that north that we are talking about now, that everybody is doing this and they are president for how many years? How many kids in north are graduate, went to school? How many since we are here in Germany? How many Northerns have you seen? What are they doing? Even in that Nigeria, music industry, film industry, science, technology, education, football, Whatever, whatever, name it. What are they doing? How are they benefiting their people? So you find out that they are not there to benefit their people. They are there for their selfish personal interests. And for them, as long as you are working for this cartel, they will give you what you want. So it's not like they are, if you're talking about it now, you think like Chegomi is protesting outside of the like people. He's even against them. He's even saying things that will bring problems for them because when somebody is putting gun in the hand of an educated small child to go into the street, so now this child, you don't know who the child will shoot. He might shoot your mother, you know, <laughs> he might shoot your father. You don't know this for sure. So this is exactly what Chegomi is saying. Let me read, I read my flag. So yeah. We stay on where we are. That is very so wonderful. Uh, today, the mm -hmm. uh, 24th of July 2021, Mm -hmm. We are here on the 20 on uh, on Dusseldorf to protest. Yeah. In next coming few days, our leader will have his freedom. Mm -hmm. and and we pray we, for that, and this is gonna happen. And we all over the world, as we are protesting, also handling official letters to all the British and Kenya embassy officially that we are protesting. Can you enlighten the people the benefit of this letter that we are handling to this uh, 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 embassy? To this embassy. So, yeah. so the benefit of yes. handling out this letter is that the new let me put it with here because open uh, the open the one I come out all special. But I will put English by the way for people who doesn't understand the English. As now, it's here what they say. A man see a banana. And it's here now. It was in it's here now what they say. Oh no, get see busy up what they say now. Oh, we can belong one day. Oh, we can belong one up one. We can belong one day. Maybe see. But it's here if I don't want to. So let I in the kunabo. I never send the letter. Can the embassy a malo? Can I want to move the Afro? Book one day. No, be a. I am manifesting. I am be my fair and will not it today. I am be my keki. Yes, we are well. We are all going to meet it. Ticket on the center below fee and at all the possible. I mean, it doesn't mean no quadrum, it doesn't mean the media drum. I'm meeting the more world, the media, the world, the media, the world, 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 the
man man sisi no oku we all here on our meeting we all here for that ki okozi e hon ki okozi e oku me it is not possible but for the benefit of so that, the benefit those of people who don't know and that's why we what is the benefit of the letter can you explain it in so the benefit of this letter is to let these embassies know french embassy british embassy whatever german embassy for them to know that we Igbo people that we are not happy with what is happening in our motherland which is biafra and Igbo. we are not happy with what is happening there we are not happy that you came with somebody who you have a court case with and there's a date for that court case and that date have not arrived and you send soldiers to arrest this person to kill this person not even to arrest him to kill this person and this person managed to escape and you connive with another terrorist country that is ruled under by a country that is subduing it as our organization for their benefit you know so you go there and kidnap this person and bring him into your country what for so if you really want him to come for this court case, why did you send soldiers to this place? And so we are sending these letters to let the world know what is happening. That we, the people of Biafra, are not happy. It's not about just in land. And can also to so the tell them that when we fight the official war mm -hmm. with Nigeria, none of them would come in rescue of Nigeria. Hopefully we will not come to a state where we have to fight in war. We never pray for that. We've seen war. We've seen that it's never good. And nobody prays for that. We hopefully hope that we don't come to that because at the end of the day, I'm still telling everybody, Hausa man, Yeruba man, Fulani man, we all have the same problem. These selfish, devilish leaders that are working for the British government Ruling Nigeria as a company for benefit of few people and not for the benefit of Nigerians or the people who live in this whatever you call it called Nigeria. You understand? Yeah. So my point is at the end of the day, hopefully everybody, even if I'm not an Igbo, I'm an Igbo. 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 Because it's not for only Nigeria, it's for the benefit of the whole Africa. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. The harassment they gave us, they are trying to ward us away from the court premises. No matter that harassment, the false information, their friends will be there. And uh, we are calling on their friends at home to exercise this particular practice of sit at home because we have to obey. And recognize the importance of Martin Thank you very much, Martin. Thank you. Oh, can, we please, can we please join our hands together for Deputy National Coordinator? Uh, while we also um, welcome our brother, uh, son of Mikodomi uh, Kodo, uh, the person of uh, Oyi. Can you please um, come forward? After that, please, uh, Mofi wants to say something. Okay, this is an official press statement from the... Oh, hey, Biafra! 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 Ibokwenu! Hey! Hey, he's up!
বলো তুমি Hello. Hi. Before I continue, I want to sing our music, the new music which I regard as the national item of the Afra. Holy, 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 in the name of the Lord. Holy, 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 in the name of the Lord. Today, I am very happy to be in the midst of my dear friend brothers. I was being threatened on the phone that if I come here, I will be attacked. But now, I am happy that there is nothing like violence. We are peace loving people. He is telling that we have never conquered anybody. We have always learned how to proceed peacefully with our neighbor. We are here to let the international community know that we are not tribalistic people, we are not racist, we are not fighting the full and Do we, have you ever seen any Yutoman or any Superman who went to 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 rape full and women? No! Do we have any protection in common with full and No! No! Do we have the same religion? No! No! So therefore, I still reason Do you want to live with the full and No! Do you want to live together with the Get No one is a referendum. A plebiscite. <laughs> we all your friends are here. Yes. You go to me good you go to me good are here. We are complete. Yes. Tell us. Attention, attention. talk to us. Yes. The essence of our being here today, being the twenty-fourth, is prior the twenty-sixth, prior to twenty-sixth of July, where our leader Mazem Nan Kano. The Ohamadike, the S, His Excellency, will be appearing in the in the in the, in the zoo uh, court. I know that his appearance will, will, will decimate every one of them. Heart attack and hypertension will kill every majority of them. Even the judge that will sit on it. I am telling you that it's either they release our leader and give us Biafra, or there will be no human existence in that contraction called Nigeria. All we are saying is we don't want to go violent. What we are saying now is give us a date for referendum. We have been saying this. We've been marching before the Briti British uh, embassies and rest of them, trying to tell them this contrast from the created has soon or already expired. Now it is for them to do what the needful. And what is the needful? Please call, a, give us a date for referendum so that where we come. And one man, one vote. If we vote to remain in the place, then so be it. If we remain, if we vote 
and at the end of the day, our vote says that we should be out, then we should be out to go and create a, 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 a system that we that we that we accommodate our that children and children's children. That calling for referendum is not, not a, a call, call for war. war. I don't know why it is lack of understanding and 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 and, and, and learning. They need to un have a simple understanding. Calling for referendum is not a call for war. I don't know why. I, I, mean, I want to believe that Britain are the people instigating them into believing all this sort of thing that they are believing. But whether they like it or not, Chukwu Kabiyama has come into this issue. Talking about Britain, the official letter that we are circulating all over the world while we are having our protest, can you tell the viewers the benefit of that letter handing it over to the British Embassy? The essence of it, this is not the first time we have done this. We have also done that in 2017, trying to let the world know that Britain had been placed on notice that the contraption that brought the whole of the region, the south, the north and the west together, has soon expired since 2014. And it is time for us to separate ourselves without any cause of war or rancor from the, the whole thing. When Lord Lugard created this, they said it's, it's to be experimented for 100 years. For 100 years. And 100 years is seen over. That means, Ube Jena Nike. Onye Nwe Rube Gawar Ube Ya. Ube Jena Nike. You are there. Keep it on, keep it on. Keep Thank, it you on. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ma, do you want to speak to us? No, another go. <laughs> Talk to us. Why are, we, why are you here, ma? Talk to us. Why are you here? Bring that one. Yes, Nigeria. Let me speak it in English. So that they will hear it. Even if I was uh -huh. a Fufu de. I am speaking, I, 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 I am insisting that they must release Mazen Nani Kam unconditionally. He is our son and we are proud of him. He is speaking for more than millions, uh, more than 100 millions of, of the people all over the world. I am staying in Germany and the, I, am, I cannot go to Nigeria to speak. So we are backing Nandekanu. He is speaking on our behalf. So anybody who is holding Martin Nandekanu should leave him alone for us. So you are saying that yes. holding Nandekanu is holding 99% of the Africans. Every one of us. They are abroad. holding us down. And even though they are chaining him, they are chaining all of us. So they must release us. We don't want to be, we don't want to be. Is it by force? We don't want to be Nigerians. We don't want to be Nigerians. We can never be Nigerians. We are not, we don't have the same thing in common with Nigerians. So we are Biafrans and we know that we must be free. We must be free. We are declaring we must be free. Whether they like it or not, they should leave us in the canoe alone for us or else they will see what will happen to them. Because Nandi Kanu is our son. He's our son. I will never be him. He is speaking for us. Thank you very much, ma'am. Mazi Odinkeman Kendilungwa Chineke reporting live here in Dusseldorf, in the street of Dusseldorf on the, today, the 24th of July 2021, saying that they must release our leader Mazi Odinkeman So I have, I have already... I have... I have... I have... I have... I have... Okay, but well, you can still talk to her because this is a part two of what we are saying. Just Nigeria to leave Nandi Kano alone. That's what we are. We are uh, that's what we are, here, we are here today for. We are campaigning today, and we are protesting that Nigeria government should allow our leader Nandi Kano to go. Otherwise, whatever they see, they take. Understand? But they are, we are looking for our freedom, and we don't, we don't want to belong. Uh, is it by force to belong? No, it's not by force. Let them leave us alone. That's my message. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. You have heard the message. They must release our great lamas and Nam the Kano. They must release. <laughs> Is another savior. Okay. I'm
And we will quickly like to welcome the president of the franchise, Umar Chideke. He has something to tell me. Please, uh, man. All oh, hail Biafra! All oh, hail Biafra! All oh, hail Biafra! All oh, hail Biafra! Three miles in Namdekano! Three miles in Namdekano! Isushu three miles in Namdekano! Yeah! Isushu three miles in Namdekano! Yeah! Isushu must three miles in Namdekano! Yeah! Itakuari must three miles in Namdekano! Yeah! My people, before I proceed, I would like to sing a song. Ah, hey! Oh, my God! So we demand to see Namdikano. We want to see him. We are not talking about Koto because Mazin Namdikano is supposed not to be tried in Nigeria. First and foremost, Mazin Namdikano case should be direct back to Kenya. And from Kenya, let British come and do their job. We are not begging British, but we are asking them to come and do what they're supposed to do because Martin Namdikalu is a citizen of British. Namdikalu is not just a, 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 a permission a holder, but he's a citizen of British. Has Namdikalu be a white man? I believe that by now, Nigeria would have no red, they would see no red because British must have fight them with anything that they have. If Nani Kalu happened to be a white man, I tell you, British supposed not to wait for anybody to remind them of what they should do. They know what their right is. But because Nani Kalu is a black man, yes, that's the reason why British can even look down on him. They can even look down on their their dignity, I mean, their citizenship, the right of their citizens, they can look it down because it has come to do with a black man. That is what we are talking about. We know that they are not our God. They are not the people to give us Biafra, but they created Nigeria and they amalgamated our people out of our consent. My forefather did not sign anything about the Nigerian uh, 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 geographical expression, that we can, as you can call it. My papa no sign up. My mother did not sign. So I don't know why I should be forced to answer in Nigeria. And so Nigeria is not by force. When they say they pledge to Nigeria their country, me, I pray to my to be afraid my country because Nigeria is the problem I'm facing today. I am a refugee in the land of Dutchland because 
There is something they call Nigeria today. Without Nigeria, I would have not been a refugee in Dutchland. They said we are illegal. I happen to see that human beings can automatically become illegal. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can you? Okay. Um, it's Aboki Biafra. Aboki Biafra? Yes, I'm Aboki Biafra. Yeah, in Nigeria, uh, Aousa, but I don't want Aousa to speak. I know you can speak Aousa, but this time around, I want to speak on this free language that everybody will understand. Okay. That is English. That is why I'm just passing this message that everybody, be you Igbo speaking Biafra, all at the regions that comprise this Biafra, we all have to open our ears. The hour has come. The hour has come. The hour has come. Nobody, nobody should like remind us what our tax or whatever that we should do is. You understand? We should just come outside and do it. Because nobody will do it for us. We should understand that freedom is not free, yeah? We, we have to fight to get Biafra. We will pay something. Our brothers have been paying with their blood. Our leader, this is the second time of incarceration. And it's supposed not to be. Though he's a freedom fighter, and freedom fighter has only three places to dwell. You see that in the, in the grave, exile, or in the prison, like our leader is now. So this is the second time of him being incarcerated, incarcerated and that we don't want to see any longer. Exactly. We don't want that. Exactly. We don't want violence. Exactly. What we need is referendum. Please, if you can see it here, this is referendum. Yes. Referendum is what we ask for. We just ask for referendum. Because with referendum, there will be no shade of blood. With referendum, nobody will die. After referendum, we can still have ourselves as neighbors. We can cohabit in unity and peace. We can do things together. But when there is war, that's the enmity. After fighting war, you know it that I can't see you that kill my grandfather or my parents and I'll come to become a friend to you. Or less, let me use this word now. We know that Takia is really Nigeria. And uh, our people, as in those from the eastern region, if you guys know what Takia is all about, I hope we should also apply Takia system to them. These guys use Takia to siphon our leaders, those that even select themselves as leaders in uh, Biafra land. And uh, they are following these people with all their whole heart, you know, because you know we are free hearted people. We love truth. And when we say that we want to do this with you, we want to do it. But that's not from the, those, these uh, Fulanis. The Atakias, they tell you I'm your friend. But that friend is fake because their own version of Quran forbid them from being your friend. You know that. They said, you are an infidel. <laughs> they are forbidden of being your friend. Unless they when they want to extract something from you. And they know that they must do with you. But now, their belief have told you that they, they don't need you. But there is that they, don't, they want you, that they have to come by Takia. But I want our people to adapt this system of Takia. You can't just tell me that you like, yes, you are my friend, I'm also your friend. You understand? Let us do it that way that you want it. This is what I believe. You understand? But war is not what Martin Amical is looking for. He says referendum. Who don't know what referendum is? It's for peace, it's for love, and for safety of humanity, so that there will be no shedding of blood. And that's what we want. That's what we want. Thank you very much. Please, thank you, my people. Thank you very much. Wake up. Mazen Namdekano is not calling for a war. Rather, he is calling for a referendum. 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 He is calling for referendum. This plan of Biafra achieving or plan to achieve in Biafra is not what one person will do. We need man and woman, we need everybody. As we have come out this week on plan, continuously we are going to do it. It is not what we can do without you, 
to know what we can do with that peace. As we are here today, we will represent ourselves everywhere we may be needed. I thank everybody once more again. I'm coming from Essen. My brother from Dusko is also here. We are around, not only West Berlin, and we are all pre represented. But what I'm saying is, the only thing that will make us to slap back is when our brothers in Biafra land are looking out to us to come out like this next time, nobody will be seen. But I believe with this determination, we are going to make it. Inform your brother, inform your sisters. We want to live in a nation where there will be no fear. All our brothers who went back stopped at Lagos. They were messaging their brothers and sisters, their relatives from Lagos. Nobody tries to get home. Anambra State is a stiff. Bimo State is gone. But by this process, with this process, in this determination, we are going to make it. We are not from Zoo. We are not a member of Zoo. We cannot continue seeing our brothers being killed, being arrested. We cannot control seeing our mothers being raped. The van land has become empty. This is a time of cultivation. They have achieved their plan, their purposes, and their aims. The rice is costly now. We are calling on everyone to come out next time after the North Rhine was falling for the networks might have planned and make sure that we are going to go again. I believe all of us will be there. Oh, help your friends! Uh, without wasting your time, uh, my name is Mayor Chris. Um, uh, I am happy that uh, I have to use English to address our people, but I have problem with English. Um, uh, I have problem with English, but anyhow, I will, I will explain myself. Uh, please, uh, we all know why we are here. And, uh, and I believe we have uh, we have passed a lot of message. Um, and uh, all the whole people who have seen what have happened today, we know that we are formidable. Yes. We are strong yes. and we are determined. Yes. And we there is no distraction. Uh, we have doctors, nurses, engineers. They are all here. Yes. We left what we are doing. Look at I, I drive five hours to be here. That shows that. And I know a lot of people drive also to be here. And this is this is the spirit we need. Like I always tell our people. If you refuse to speak, your children will wake up. You know, we are sending money to our to Nigeria every day to our brothers and sisters. It's not normal. Our brothers and sisters are not slaves. They are not beggars. So we must speak for a good environment, for a, for a, for a country, to, so that there, there, shall be, there will be work, plenty electricity, so that the people will be people will be employed. No one should be begging each other. If we refuse to do the right thing. Then our this our brothers we continue begging our children because we we refuse to speak. So I appreciate everyone who are, who are, who is here, and I'm calling on our brothers and sisters in any country you are. Make sure you join your brothers. Make sure you join your sisters. Thank you so much. God bless you all. This is where you are speaking. I P O B. One family. I P O B. One family. Uh, before I say something here, I would like to introduce myself. I am Obelago, a lion moving home. Royal Jane, Rock of Life and Love Media. So, something I want to say here, first of all, but I want to thank IPOB Dusseldorf and IPOB NRP for making this possible for everybody to gather here today. What I want to say is this. I want to pass a very strong message to the Zoo government, Nigeria, as they are big call. It's no more a time that we have to say a beg. We have begged and cried over this issue. And it is time that we say we need our freedom by fire, by force. And we are telling them Holding Mars in Ambikano, who is our leader, captain, captain, is just like pouring the water on the stone. 
and it will definitely wipe away by the right hand. Sorry for that. Abeg, who this man give you for make you home? Oh. Abeg, who this man give you for make you home? If you know you are okay. Thank you very much. How are you, Biafra? So, like I was saying, holding mass in and the cano, as they have kidnapped him from the Kenya, and they are holding him now. We are telling them, we are being waiting patiently till this day that we are being killed. They say, he who cry last cry best. He who laugh, laugh, laugh best. We have been crying and we have been laughing. It is time that our smile we wipe away from our face. Should be from because they are making it boring to us. And it is a time that we are telling them that we are no more afraid. Like we have passed the message to Europeans, we have sent the message across the universe. And we are being recognized all over the world. But still, Nigeria government says we are terrorists. We don't look like terrorists. Everything we do, we do it this place. Like today, we are being connected and we are being guided by the police here in Germany. So we are all over the world and we are telling them, Nigeria government should recognize who we are. We are not like a Fulani, we are not like Hausa, we are not like Janjawi, we are not like P Daimeati Allah, we are not like every other in Nigeria who don't know their value. All we are saying is that we are dear friends. We are dear friends. They cannot force us in a first marriage forever. A woman being married by force, we ask for a divorce on the right time, and the divorce must be given. This is what we are asking British government. If they are strong enough to decamp from the European Union, and up to date, I could remember 2016 when they were campaigning to decamp from the European Union. Their reason of asking for a decamp from the European Union is so that they can turn Africa entirely into their milk, where they will be sucking, getting their resources without any other European Union getting involved on it. And this is the time we have to tell the ambassador of Britain in Nigeria, who has been clambering from one tree to the other, going from house to house. You know, I, don't, I never know that a Britain, I never know that a commissioner can live in embassy, putting mind in a affair of a nation, if a Nigeria was to be a nation. This is the time we are calling the European Union, as they know that the Britain has come from them. And it was due in due process that they decamp. And their reason is to hold their friends so that they will be catch, they will keep catching us, taking what belongs to us. And the European Union will not get involved. It is time we have to tell the European Union they should put eyes to the game that the Britain is playing in Africa. They should get involved to the game that the Britain is playing in Africa. They should get involved to the game that the Britain is playing in Africa. And they should free their friends. Because they cannot ask to go their separate way from the European Union with their thumbs. Britain was the key to the European Union and they finally decamp just to hold the people, just to hold indigenous people who want to be free from Africa. Biafra is Africa. Biafra stand Africa. When Biafra is free, there will be no immigration in Europe. That is right ashore. When Biafra is free, the whole Africa will ask, we know what is freedom. When Biafra is free, the whole Africa will experience what is freedom and happiness. We want to be free and we want to live happily in our land. We can no longer come to Europe and suffer. Without giving us the permission to do anything, we are like slaves. You told us that slavery is gone and gone forever. But what we are still experiencing today is more than a slavery. What we are getting from Europeans today is more than slavery. What we are experiencing, we are thousands in Europe running here around. We have no job. We have nothing to eat. Nobody wants to consider who we are. When we ask for our right to live over here, that will tell us on a due time. When, we, when will it be a due time for us? When will it be a due time for us to live as a free people? When will it be a due time for therefore to live as a free people all over the world? We become a trouble today in Europe. When we are being mentioned, therefore, it's like we are burning fire on them. 
when we say we are Biafran, when Igbo man name is being mentioned before a white man, it will be like there is something we are taking from them. But when we cry for our freedom, they refuse to let us go. And we are asking why. We are asking why because it's not all about us here standing today. It's all about our children who are coming up. And we want to tell the European you know, they should know that we the old today are giving birth and our children are coming up. It is not all about, about us who they don't give freedom to me. It is all about the children we, who we are giving to them. Because one day they will get up to us where their fathers come from. Why are their fathers being persecuted? And they will take up from where we are stopping today. They will take up from us. And then they will make it hard to the whole Europe. We are not begging to be free as a free people. But we are asking them to do the needful. We are telling them to do the needful. They have to free their pastor that our children can go back home and see the sun rise where we come from. Their from us free. They have to free us so that our children we know the source of their fathers. They have to free us so that our children we know what is the joy playing on the ground. They have to free us so that our children we are free the lovely fathers they have. Because now we are slavery. We work day and night just to make the entry. We do everything possible, both legal and illegal, just to survive here. When, they, when we are being caught in the street, they call us names. When we are good, they call us Nigeria. But when we are bad, they call us their friends. And we want to be free so that we can answer both the good and the bad names in our land. Their from us be free. Their from us be free. Ah, hey! Ah, hey! This is, uh, I want to thank every one of us who have made it today to this uh, honorable demonstration. We want to call on all of us. Today we have just started this demonstration and protest. But let every one of us know that, as our coordinator here in this of has said, at least in two weeks, we all will gather again. So we are either here in this of or in Cologne or some other places. But then we all must be aware within us. And we all must make out the time from our shadows so that we can be able to attend to this demonstration whenever we are being called up. We won't want the situation we have in the next few weeks when a call is made for some demonstration or project that some of us will be found wanted. It is also pertinent that we discuss among ourselves and know if we all can at the same time participate on a working day. Because today is Saturday and we are doing the process on Saturday. That is because most of us are working. But it would be more better if we can fix a date. Maybe we can say the next two weeks, the next two weeks protest will be in a weekday. In that aspect, all of us will then know the week and can be able to take free from our work. Those who can take free from their work. But it should be very good that within a month that we must make our time to have a protest on the weekdays, not just on Saturday. And it is very crucial that all of us attend whenever a protest is fixed. Should it also happen to be on Saturday, we are all still welcome and entitled to attend to this protest. This protest is a call as well as an evangelism. And a reminder to the German population and government, to the civil servants at home, and to the laymen at home, that we, Pierre France, are fed up with their slavery. Some of us have spoken. I thank everyone who has spoken. But I wish us to know that our major problem is the prison. The ambush that was led in Kenya against our leader by the Kenyan government, that is an ambush. It is called a sonary rendition or so many other things. But to me, that was an ambush led against our leader and against the Afro Republic. And that ambush shall be challenged 
in all places where that must be challenged. In the law courts, in the political offices, in the chambers of the politicians, the ambassadors, the ministers, and all political office holders here in Germany, in Europe, and worldwide in general. We must bring it to their attention that the ambush that was led against our leader in Kenya is the handwork of Britain. That is just like the biblical saying of the hand of Esau, the voice of Jacob. <laughs> yeah. It is the hand of Britain, we are seeing the hand of Kenya and British and Niger government. But it is the Britain that must amend that everything that we are seeing. That is why the women of the woman, the woman of Britain in Nigeria has been going around pestering our people, trying to confuse them and try to infiltrate and infiltrate fear into our minds. But we are not going to allow that. So I encourage every Biafran, I wish every Biafran to be more active in your Facebook and Twitter. Always remind to end the Brit to ask the British to end slavery. Slavery has not ended. It's unfortunate that most of us have thought that slavery has ended. It's very unfortunate that most of us thought that we have a country, whereas we are in a company in Nigeria. Nigeria is just a company and never a country. And so therefore, brothers and sisters, we must all arise and showcase to the world that the elongated slavery that Nigeria represents must be brought to an end. We must end slavery. The abolition of the slavery in the olden time never started by the Europeans. It was one of our brothers, Allah the Equal, that championed the end of slavery before they have to remove the physical chain and have to put us into the systematic chain that they put us all into. So, brothers and sisters, as we all have gathered today, let us know that our case is for slavery to be ended, for slavery to be, abol to be abolished. Of so long as Nigeria is in existence, it it's slavery in existence. So long Nigeria is allowed to be functioning, that is slavery that is in function. We all, irrespective of the fact that we may be having some passport, German passport or whatever, let us all know that we have never been free and we can only be free in Biafra. All oh, hey, Biafra. All oh, hey, Biafra. All oh, hey, Biafra. All hey, Biafra. Biafra, we heard it. All hey, Biafra. All hey, Biafra. Our protest is very simple. It's just to release our leader, Mazen and Kano. Because he has no cause. He has nothing to be hold for. Anyway, by the way, my name is Felix Aduce. I'm speaking to you, to you from Dusseldorf, Germany. Uh, my brothers and sisters here are gathered today. What they are requesting from the German government is to release our leader, Mazen and Kano. He has nothing to, 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 to say he has done for Nigeria. He did nothing. He's just, for prote he just protesting to, for, for the freedom of his people. Why should it be heard on a, uh, on a such uh, uh, strategic uh, position like that? Why should it be threatening like that? Look at some people in, 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 in northern Nigeria. They were being given, they were given everything. Like Bumi, he's, he's when they are negotiating, giving them money, the bandits, the criminals. Why should the person only raising the flag should be a victim of Nigeria? Why should the person only raising a flag should be a, somebody who has been criminalized for nothing? Oh, my, my, my fellow people, men and women, we cannot relent on this effort until Biafra is free. All oh, her Biafra. All oh, her Biafra. All oh, her Biafra. Oh, Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Biafra, we heard you. Uh, we thank you, um, lovers of freedom. Here is uh, Dusseldorf, Germany. And we are at the last stop of the rally today. 
Um, I believe I may be the last speaker. No, for no, no, this no. Rally. Okay, we are still having someone yeah. waiting. Yeah, more people but, wait. But um, we want to let the whole world know that holding our leader Mazinam de Kano is bringing catastrophe in the zoo called Nigeria because the African people, we are not going to let such to happen. We have been so much intimidated. We have been so much intimidated. We have been so much killed by the terrorist government of Nigeria as they have formed different kind of terrorism in the Nigeria, terrorizing every ethnicity in the Nigeria. And that's where the eastern part called Biafran people. We want to let the UN know that keeping quiet will never solve this issue because we, you can't beat us and they tell us not to cry. We, we cry and they retaliate. That is the nature. You beat us, we cry, but we are going to retaliate. That is the nature. Our girls, our sisters, our mothers have been raped in the farm, in the Biafran land. We cannot allow such to happen for someone coming from the Sahel, the Fulanese, to come and take over our land. It will be, it won't be possible. They thought that it's possible? No. By the Nigeria sending their military and their police, helping the invasion of the Fulanese against the Biafran people. We are waiting for the UN to speak up. We are waiting for the international communities to do what's good something, what they're supposed to do. We all know that many of you have been bribed with Biafran oil. So whenever we speak about Biafra, all of you keep quiet. But that will never solve the issue because one day we are going to come up in a different dimension that the whole world will never sustain it. Our blood has been shared in our land. Our youth has been in different kind of mass execution by the Nigerian government. We are warning the whole world to stop this mess happening in Nigeria because Biafra people will never keep quiet forever. We are asking you people to order Nigerian government to release our Supreme Leader Mazenam de Kano or there will be no peace. This is our last word. And we are continuing demonstrating until we are going to show the whole world what we made of. Thank you all. And shalom. All hey Biafra. All hey Biafra. All hail Biafra. Biafra, we hear thee. All hail Biafra. Biafra, we hear thee. We are here to demonstrate in solidarity with Mazen and the Kano. The zoo hold him. The zoo is only the only people in the world that goes contrary to the law. UN law, human law. All of them is not for zoo called Nigeria. This zoo called Nigeria is a, in fact, is a disgrace to humankind. Yes. All the time, what is abnormal? If you look for it in in any part of the country, you will not see it. If you look for any what is called absorb, you cannot see it in Germany. You cannot see it even in Ghana. But in, in Nigeria, in the zoo, you will find it. That's the reason we are saying enough is enough. Yes. Enough is enough. If you come to protest in the zoo, what the government understands as a protest is war. I don't know if it is a second world war or a fifth world war. They come out in mass shooting human beings like you are shooting a fowl or a bird. Just yesterday, Soldier went with knife, machete, cutting crops, cutting crops that human being planted, saying because you do not allow cow to pass through here, all your crops will be cut down. I have never seen such people with such mentality. The government, the Nigeria forces, shooting human being in place of cow. Cow will remain alive and human being will die. There is ranches everywhere. Why should they hold Nandekano? Nandekano said, we don't need you people. We don't want to be in Nigeria. We want to build our nation. We want to build our place. We want to make a difference. 
If you people don't accept what we are saying, we are going our separate way. Then, is it not for them to call him and negotiate with him? They are. In fact, is it? Is it? What would I call it? Corruption is what is not expected in a developed country like Nigeria. But they choose not to be called develop, developed country, civilized country. They choose not to be called like that. They come to Europe, they see how it looks like, and they went back, collecting that seven million every month. A senator, a governor, that seven million naira. This is more than, in fact, a student who started uh, five years and want to again retake the same course again for five years can use it and they marry with this that seven million that somebody is taking for a month which means one person can eat this money one person can eat this money for 20 years in the school many people are in this country they are not going to school many people are drinking dirty water this is what Martin Andikan is saying no let us come together and see what we can do for ourselves for the unborn children for our children children for the next generation today now this country we are have called Africans to plan with them in the next 30 years. Nigeria, what are you planning for the next 30 years? How to manufacture Kirishi? How to manufacture Kirishi in the next 30 years? Nigeria, what are you building? Are you building road works uh, construction? No. Railway? Never, never. It is only from Niger to Niger Republic from Zamfara to Niger Republic, Zamfara to North, Zamfara, Zamfara, Zamfara. To Chad. Chad. What has this thing done to humankind? What are we doing? What is the governor doing? The Even our priests, the reverend fathers, have them gone moot? If you have gone moot, the reverend fathers, please, I am calling you people in the name of God. The God you preached, last Sunday they said that the gospel of some Sunday ago was take care of my sheep, the good shepherd. I'm calling the reverend fathers, the clergy, those who have, um, what is it called, private jets. Please sell one of your jets and develop. Send your children to school. Martin and the canoe need it. He wants everybody to be successful. He wants everyone to be alive. He wants everybody to be feeding well. He wants all the nation to be what is called self-civilized. That they will know what they are teaching in the school, that the people will understand. But before you will stand to say that you are going to school, you will look at the environment. There is no place to stay in the school. If you find a seat to sit, it means your parents pay for that seat. The government has nothing to do for the masses. And the masses and the Kanu say, enough of all this. Let us go on our separate way. Then if we cannot stay, we can come back. But our governor said no. And let those who love cows remain with cows. Our they governor said no. Our senator said no. Oju Zokalu said no. Oju Zokalu said no. Oju Zokalu said no. Our brother Wanyan said no. Roger Sokrocha said no because he's collecting 37 million every month. Me, my very self, I won several scholarships, but they did not grant it to me. That is why you find me this place. And I have learned something in this country. I want to come back and tell all Jews of Kano, and tell Okorocha, and tell Uguaya, and tell David Umahi, and tell Obiano, all of them that even the revenue from one state can develop that country, that we have a good hospital, that we have good road work connections, network, communication will be possible. That is what we are saying. If they cannot do this, let them stay aside. We are going to do it. There is no poor person in that country called Zoo. There is no poor person. Even here where we are, we are not poor. Why are people fighting themselves? It's because they are hungry. Here we play with Igodo Migodo. We play with the Arewa people. We play with even the people we don't know. Nobody hurts each other. Nobody is fighting to get millions. Everybody is comfortable. Why are we not comfortable? Why are we comfortable in foreign land and we are not comfortable 
in our own land. We are comfortable with your Duduwa. We are comfortable here with the so-called Arewa. We are comfortable here with even the Cameroonians, with the Chad, everybody, all parts of the country, the Guinea Republic. Yeah. We are comfortable with them here. We are happy with them here. Then why are we fighting in our own home? Why are we fighting? My language says that. As you know, and one year, or Guinea, as an unknown outside, and all outside, and one year, or Guinea Batara, now but as you know, and a bog. Something is wrong. That is why we are coming here. We are saying to the to the to the knowledge of all the world, the whole country, to know that we are here. We are Biafra. We want to change everything. We are not terrorists. They said Nigeria are terrorists, but we are not at all at all. We are working for this country. Most of all the Biafrans are working in this country. Nobody have stolen some something. Nobody have killed each other. They are working for years, but why are we fighting in our country? Why are we fighting? Why are we fighting? The Hausa Fulani people who came in the name of Hausa, the Fulani enter into Hausa, and now they are fighting everybody. Why are they fighting yeah, everybody? Slaughtering, killing human beings. Now the terrorists has entered into Nigerian army. Do you think Nigerian army will allow that? No. But Nigeria army allowed that. That means Nigeria security forces are terrorists. They are the bandits you are seeing. Or non-government you are seeing today are the people from Fulani soldiers. They are the non-government. They are coming to the east. They are coming to the south, trying to kill the police, trying to burn the, the station so that they will say that they are the ESN. ESN is in the bush. We are telling the whole world, now they are coming to shoot people, no. kill people, so that they will say there is insurgency in the southeast. There is none. The ESN is in the bush, trying to make the people to cultivate well. Let everybody hear it. We are sending the world to know it. It is not true what the Nigerian government is saying. UNN cannot listen to us. Why are they not listening? They are thieves. If they are not thieves, let them come out and see what is happening. See. Nigeria army is well trained people, but why are they not seeing those who are the bandits and those who are the unknown government? These unknown government, we don't know them. ESN is in the bush. But after the unknown government might have reacted, they go to people's houses, pointing them and bringing them and show killing people that this is the, the unknown government. Our youth. Killing our youth for, not, for no reason. They have every technology. They should follow the unknown government and video them and see them and get them for us. Not after the same, they will bring some people and say this is the non-government. We are saying no to this. ESN is in the bush. They are protecting our bushes and our land. That is why there should be none of those herdsmen in our land. After knowing that there is no one in the forest, they are now coming out to act as a non-government, thinking that we can accept that we are not the unknown government. We are fighting for our freedom. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Here in Dusseldorf. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Um, we are actually here today to um, lend our voices to the, 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 the degree of impunity and annihilation being meted on Biafrans, the Easterners and the Southerners in that contraption called Nigeria. We've had enough of it. And enough, when somebody says enough, it should be sincerely uh, be, be proven to be enough. From, from time immemorial, we've been we've been we've been uh, 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 we've been used as scapegoats, sacrificial lambs, to keeping this contraption called Nigeria as one. We've paid the ultimate price, and yet, and up to this time, we are still paying, we are still losing our lives, 
bloods are being let out every now and then. So very many of so very many of us had our had our uh, 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 university education. We studied. We backed certificates, but yet still not satisfied. In 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 in, in Germany here where we are. You don't even need to go to the university for you to have a good job. You don't even need to say, I, 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 I had to go through polytechnic for you to have a good job. You don't even need to get to bribe somebody for you to have a good job. You don't even need to know any idiot for you to have a good job and to have a good life. Why is it so difficult to understand that the Southerners why is it so difficult to understand, to assimilate this fact that your friends have had enough? How is a call for referendum a call for war? How? Why is it that up to this time, the people, the Fulani enclaves, these are all visitors. These are all visitors. Are varicious idiots that came to Nigeria, unnecessary opportunists came, they felt that if they've, they've seen and they want to conquer everyone. Why is it that in that place called Nigeria, you cannot respect people with their mindset and with their religion? If you are a Muslim, it's not a problem. If you are a Christian, it shouldn't be a problem. If you are a Buddhist, that shouldn't be a problem. If you are an atheist in Germany here, we have so many, so very many of them. Some are Christians, some are Muslims, some are atheists. You live in the same place, live in the same house, go to the same market, go to the same school, speak, go to the same work, speak in a language everyone will understand. Why is it difficult for them to understand there? The difference between it is education and understanding. The Fulanese are not exposed. The, most of the Northerners, I'm very sorry to say this, are illiterate. They are bereft of understanding and, and, and wisdom. What did the Bible say? In all that you get in, please get wisdom. They lack wisdom. They lack understanding. And to the Britain, I think their time is up. Whether they like it or not, Biafra must go. Germans call it on appendiskeit. We must go, and we are not going, we are not calling for this uh, uh, separation from them for war. Every other legal process with regards to it must be applied, and Biafra must be free. Come rain, come shine, Biafra must be free. And the freedom that we ask for, the freedom that we are seeking for, the freedom that Britain sought for from the European Union and got it, that we must get and nothing short of it whether buhari we are talking about buhari buhari is dead is a confirmed is a, is a confirmed issue buhari is dead whether lai mohammed like it or not whether uh, femi adeshino like it or not whether the, the, the cohorts of idiots from the southeast the eastern governors the useless politicians whether they like it or not biafra must be free biafra must be free because we need to build a home we need to build a place for our children and our children's children. We need to build a place and a home for our parents, for our brothers, our cousins. Not somebody who has come of age after going to school. You are still under the apron stream of your parents. It's a taboo. In Western world, it's a taboo. From the age of 18 to 19, you are, you are meant to go and live on your own. Why is it difficult for them to understand? It is bereft of wisdom. These people lack wisdom. They lack wisdom. They lack understanding. They lack knowledge. These are a bunch of bonkers and idiots, illiterates that cannot understand, that cannot separate the, 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 the facts from issues. But whether they like it or not, we have come. This generation of ours must restore Biafra. Come, come shine. We must. And Biafra we want, and Biafra will get. All hey Biafra. All hey Biafra. All hey Biafra. We are live and direct here in Dusseldorf. We are live and direct here in Dusseldorf 
to uh uh Mazi come and speak to us. Biago Biafra Oku, Nanyuku, Nanyuku. We're here live and direct here in Dusseldorf to protest against the extraordinary rendition of our great Lamazan Nam the Kano from Kenya to say the enough is enough. Over to you. Yeah, good day, my dear brothers and sisters. My name is Imene Wemchi. Um, today I hosted the uh, Bia France uh, in Northern Westphalen. You understand? And um, yeah, please, I don't want to say anything without our flag by my side. Thank you. So, um, we are here today to show or to let the German public to know that our leader, Mazinam De Kano Oyendu, His Excellency, was abducted, you know, kidnapped by the Nigerian government, the Zoo government with the Kenyan government. And all this why most of us have never slept, most of us are crying every day, most of us are down because of this. We are missing him. They have been lecturing us, telling us what is what, what what is to be done and how we are going to do it. This struggle has been a long time. The guy, Mazen Nam the Kano, has been pushing all this while. You know, resoluteness, dedication, truthfulness, and consistency. That is what brought us where we are today. And we will conquer at the end of the day. Because without Biafra, Nothing will be living in the zoo. All of us will die. Whether they like it or not, the zoo must completely be crushed down. What happened in Rwanda will be heaven to compare with what is going to happen in the zoo. We have been very, very quiet, very, very, you know, silent, trying to conduct ourselves, trying to be peaceful, but they are pushing us to the wall. They are letting us know that we can't do anything but we will tell them we have a lot to do and we are going to do it. I thank all my brothers that are my sisters that was here today. The demonstration continues. Today we finished in Dusseldorf. The next two weeks we'll be going to Cologne and we'll be moving to Essen, Duisburg, Esalon, Munster, Aachen, Cleve. The whole Northern Westphalen must know that IPOB is not happy with what happened to our leader. The whole world we know that we are annoyed with how they abducted our leader. This is the man that has been showing us the way. He is the light in which we are seeing. You know, he is the mouth in which we speak. God, please protect him wherever he is. Guide him. Give him long life and prosperity. He will be saved. That is one we show. Before October, or within October, the zoo will know what we are made of. That I can assure you and that I promise the zoo. Before October or within October, they will know what we are made of. We have suffered enough. I live here in Germany for more than 25 years. I want to tell you a little bit story. I live here in Germany for more than 25 years. I have a house, I have a job, I have a home, I have my children. I have everything I need to be happy. But at the end of the day, I'm missing my home. I'm missing my home. I have a house. It's not a house I'm missing. I'm missing my home, where I came from. So I cannot be happy here. If you don't understand why people in diaspora are fighting for this country, Biafra, you should know that our life here is not easy. We have everything we can think of. There's no shortage of light, no shortage of water. The roads are very nice. Everything is working perfectly well, but we are not happy. We want to get back to our home. And this zoo, if you go to zoo, you'll be suffering a lot of things. Only this small brain, you'll be afraid of kidnappers, afraid of police, afraid of army, afraid of uh, juju, afraid of your family, afraid of everything. How can we survive like this? How can we cause such a thing in a country? Please, my brothers and sisters, I'm begging all of you wherever you are, this is the time for you to come out and support this struggle. This is the time to come out and show 
that Nam the Kano is truly a leader and a prophet. Whatever he said have come to pass. He told us 2014 that we need guns and weapons to defend ourselves. They say he wants to cause war. Five years after, T.Y. Danjuma is saying the same thing. The former president, the wicked man and the evil man, Obasanjo, is saying the same thing. How can such a small boy saw what is going to happen? And people are calling him small boy. It's time we respect him and adore him. It's time we cherish him. It's time we stand by him. It's time we do everything together with him. Because without him, we are doomed forever. Without him, we'll be colonized, flanalized, or flanization. Islamization will be happening in the zoo today. My brothers, I have a lot to say. But I believe in action. I don't believe in words. Action. And that action, the zoo will see. I thank you and God bless you. May Chiko Kabia guide all of you and protect you wherever you may be. He said, he said, he said. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I want to greet every freedom fighter, every Bia friends all over the world, every Oduduwa brothers all over the world. I want to thank you very much for this very day. Today's, today, today's protest have shown the world that we are really serious, we are really fanatic about this movement today, about the cause that we believe. Self-determination is not a crime. It is not a call for war. It is a call for dialogue. I am wondering sometimes how Nigerians are reasoning. Because the reason why people protest is to show their grievances so that people can at least express how they are feeling. Even if it's good or bad, they have to be listened to. You see? And in Nigeria today, there are no rooms for dialogue. That is why you see everywhere is crumbling in Nigeria today. Because there is no chance for peace to reign. There is no round table for people to dialogue on things they believe on. Exactly the same thing happened during Boko Haram. The starting of Boko Haram wasn't violent. They were not violent until they killed their leader. But this is something that a round table talk we, we we settle so i want to i want to plead on the freedom fighters to keep on fighting we are hoping that by the special grace of god we will achieve our end we will achieve our end in jesus name so as i was saying this call for biafra is not a call for fight a call for referendum is not a call for fight. Yes. Actually, anybody that can reason very well, we know that we are in Nigeria with what's supposed to be an advantage for us is a disadvantage for us. We don't have common thing, common ground that everyone can say, yes, this is what makes me a Nigerian. Or this one we say this is what makes me this. If you come to on the street now and ask someone, where are you from? You will hear from that person that that person will say, I am from Yoruba, I am from Hausa, I am from Edo, I am from Ibu, I am from Ejo, I am from this. And all these are because we don't have a, 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 a simple playground. You see. I want to tell you something. If Nigeria had been planned to work, it, things would have been moving gradually, even if it's not moving speedily the way we expect. But Nigeria is planned to fail. The disagreement in it is more than the agreement we have in it. Our people are suffering 
because of this same colonization that have they, that they have built in our our, our our brains that chain that is being in our brain nigerian 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 and we see nigerian crumbling every day today another this is biafra tomorrow Odudua will come up yesterday this very yesterday Billy, Billy Kingdom, Billy Kingdom started their, their own agitation too. This will continue to happen until there is a dialogue. If there is no dialogue, there can never be any form of progress in that country. Everybody have traveled abroad. We have gone places. We have seen how things are functioning all over the world. We have seen life. Beautiful roads, street lights, everything. Why can't we have that in, in our own country? Why can't we have that in our own country? We can't have it because there are people that are sitting on top of it. There are people that will determine your own future for you. This is very bad. And a Fulani man don't want to see an evil man rise up. Just last week, Ali Nonyema was complaining that he can't even get the spear pass he needs to, to set up his, his airline, his aircraft. So, we have so many experiences like that. And this is what is holding us down. Not even a regional system have worked. Now, we are agitating for Biafra. We want the Republic of Biafra to stand. It's not a call for war. Let there be a referendum where people can vote their mind. If all the people vote and say, yes, they want to be in Nigeria, then we, we all join, we will know that we join Nigeria from our own heart. If, not by force. If we say we want to be on our own, that is our own determination. Our, we sit our right. Why is the United Nations keeping so long adamant on this particular issue? Why is the United States of America keeping adamant on this issue? It has been long that we have been yearning for this. Why can't someone say something? Why can't someone say something? Britain, why are you holding Biafrans down? What is your gain? Biafrans are good people. They are peace-loving people. Their friends can work with Britain, they can work with the United States of America, hand on hand. Why do you choose our enemy just to suppress us down? Are you happy of the massacre going on down there? I hope we are all not blind. Thank God for social media. We have now social media where we re all things are being revealed. People are seen watching every day on the telly. Even sometimes they don't show it in the on the telly anymore. But the social media still pick them up. Why are you keeping so adamant on these things? Are you enjoying to see human blood flowing all over? This is irritating. This is irritating. I hope and I, I pray that one day that something will touch on the people that are being in charge to look into this particular issue and see what they can do about it. Now, our leader Mazen Nandekano is in prison. Not even arrested as it as should be. Adopted, kidnapped. And the whole world is keeping silent. What a shame. What a shame. I was thinking there are people that have conscience. People with conscience are still living. They are still somewhere. So I, I plead all of you to come up with a very good idea. Any step that you have to come up that we end this situation once and for all, we will be very happy for it. I thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity. All here Biafra. 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 I send my greetings to all the Afrans all over the world.
My greetings as well goes to uh, our comrade Simon Eber for your wonderful job. Uh, we are today showing our support, our solidarity to the restoration of uh, Biafran uh, state. We are showing our solidarity to the uh, our leader, Mazen Nam de Kano. We are also calling on uh, friends of Biafra, lovers of freedom, to stand up for what is right. The truth of the matter is that Nigeria was consecrated on the altar of corruption right from inception. We have endured that subjugation, we have endured that torture, we have endured that uh, brainwash for so long. It is actually good that children of God are waking up this time, rather too late, but better late than never. We are calling for the restoration of uh, the state of Biafra. We are no longer comfortable with the marriage with one Nigeria. The British, against our will, uh, joined us with the people who want us dead. You know, we have been crying, we have been shouting, we have been speaking out. And somehow there is this blanket uh, silence from the international community uh, who pretended that they don't see or they don't know what is happening. As a matter of fact, I want to tell the Biafrans that everybody in this world knows your history, but sadly, Biafrans themselves don't know their own history. Uh, from my own point of view, that is the reason for this silence. They don't want you to prosper. They don't want you to be in charge of your destiny, in charge of your land, in charge of your peoplehood. And that is why we are saying that enough is enough, that this struggle will not end until the absolute restoration of the state of Biafra. We are keeping on and we encourage the good people of the world, lovers of freedom, friends and way wishers to partner in this effort. There is not much one can do about it. Uh, we thank God for who has given us a Jesus of our time. That was actually the situation in the neighborhood of 2,000 years ago when a young African rose to fight the Roman occupation of the land of the blacks. Sadly, the Greek Roman authorities rewrote history. They presented us a white messiah who even when we pray, when we fast, even the blue-eyed white Jesus pretends that he doesn't see us. And I want to tell people of the world, as a traditionalist, one of the principal uh, brainwash or game they played on our psyche is to tell us to pray for our enemies. For donkey years we have been praying for our enemies. Although, the sacred scripture of our ancestors asks us not to allow our enemy go behind us with a machet. In other words, to fight your enemy. But the missionaries succeeded in turning our brain around. We keep praying for our enemies and they keep killing us. It is high time we question all these junks they brought to us. It is high time we even start to question the religion they brought to us. Is it actually helping us? Is it actually improving our humanity? You know, I call on Africans, I call on Biafrans to look backwards to their own. The self-identity has eroded, eroded us. The self-consciousness has eroded us. That is why we must begin to appreciate our own. We must begin to appreciate who we are. We must begin to appreciate our history and our heritage. Thank you, good people. Thank you, lovers of freedom. Thank you, Biafrans. And thank you once more 
Comrade Simon Eba, uh, keep the fire burning. We are all standing in solidarity with Mazin Namde Kano, and we say Biafra must be free. They want to move to Why you cannot? Can why? Why the hard are low? No, no, it's not. Doesn't matter. Speak. Why you? All hail Biafra! All hail Biafra! All hail Biafra! All hail Biafra! In fact, I don't know what to say, but I must say something. I must speak out. Yes. I must say something. Now the guy need to be released. He need to be come out from that zoo called Nigeria. I need him out. Yes. I am not hearing the voice of Mazi again. For how long now? We Nigeria hold him. For how long now? I am crying. Britain. I am crying. Leave Nandikali alone. Nigeria, leave Nandikali alone. Yes. He has not done something. He has not done anything. Mm. He has not killed any human being. Mm. For humiliating him this way. Nandikali is not like all this Janja weed, all this Buku Aram, killing innocent people, raping our daughters, raping Not our kingdom. children, kidnapping our, 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 our children. We need the whole world, we need the, inter the international world to come to our rescue. Our brothers and sisters have been destroyed. They have, they have killed us enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I need the money and the girl out. I want him out. I miss him out! I miss him out! Yes. I am not hearing the voice of Oyenji again! I am not hearing his voice again! I need him out! I don't want him to be killed! Yes. I don't want him to be killed! The whole world! You are watching! You are watching our children dying! You are watching the innocent souls in Biafra land! They have killed us so much! We need our freedom! We need our freedom! We want to go home! We want to go home! In fact, I am tired. I am tired to be a to be in a strange land. I want to go my home. I want to go my home. My new nation. My country Biafra. My country Biafra. I want to go. I want to go. And we must go. And we must go. We must go. And we must go. We must go. And we must go. There's a song we want to sing. Yes. There's a song we have for our leader. And for all the beer friends. Anye bundiaga, ndiaga beer friend. The mother of Jesus, I gave away Mary. Anye bundiaga, ndiaga beer friend. The mother of Jesus, I gave away Mary. Anye bundiaga. Ndaga Biafra, ni mabara Jesus, I gave away Mary. Oh hell, Biafra! Oh hell, Biafra! Biafra, we held it. This side of zone, we are very formidable. My name is Victor Uchechikobi. I hear from Ibere, the Omaha province, Biafra land. We are very formidable. We are very formidable. This adopt zone is very formidable. Westphalen is very formidable. All hail Biafra. 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 You cannot crush Biafra. At all. You cannot cover us all. At all, at all. You can't bury us. Yes, sir. We are unstoppable. Yes, sir. We are unstoppable. Yes, sir. We are unlimited. Yes, sir. We will move forward. Yes, sir. We will crush everyone. Yes, sir. If you could catch him and the girl, why couldn't you catch all the, yes, all, the, all, all the Boko Harams at when all. they were kidnapping our families and killing them? If you can catch him, why can't you catch all the all the kidnappers in Nigeria? Why can't you catch Boko Haram? But well, you can catch him and because he's a freedom fighter. He speaks the truth. And the truth is bitter. This truth is bitter. And he will not stop speaking. Yes, Even sir. where he is, he will come out and speak the truth. Yes, you can't sir. stop him. You can't stop him because Biafra United will stand. Amen. Biafra United will stand. Biafra United will stand. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. It's you. I just saw you here. I'm going to go for you. I'm going to go for you.
If it is ten minutes, Oh, hey, Biafra. The battery is Oh, hey, Biafra. Biafra, we heard you. Oh, hey, Biafra. I don't have much to say. The only thing I have to say, I just have only one question to ask Nigeria. Nigeria is a giant of Africa. Nigeria is a giant of Africa, but ruled by old full man, by illiterate man. What are they? Nigeria, I want to tell you people, ICC. I want you people to come for our rescue. I want to talk to you people. Martin Namdekal is not a terrorist. No, no, no. Martin Namdekal is not a terrorist. No, no. Rather, bandits and Boko Haram, they are the people terrorizing the country. Yes. But Buhari and their ginger, ginger weed, full of news. You only see them, but I cannot say anything. Nigeria is a giant of Africa, but leading by an old illiterate man. What are they? Nigeria is the only country that produces more than 10,000 graduates every year and more than thousands of lawyers and barristers, but they don't have law. Yes. Nigeria is a lawless country. I want ICC to look into this matter and let them free Mazen Nandikali. Mazen Nandikali is not a terrorist. Mazen Nandikali is not a terrorist. Rather, Nigeria, Buhari is a terrorist. Buhari is the one supporting the Boko Haram. Yes. Buhari is the one supporting the Fulanis. Yes. Buhari is the one leading the terrorists. Yes. Buhari is the one leading the Fulanis. Yes. Buhari is the one using the Nigeria money to supply ammunition to Fulani, to Boko Haram. Yes. In order to terrorize our country. Yes. In order to terrorize our, 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 our land. Yes. The Buhari and their people, the Fulani Janjawi, they are the people raping our mothers. Yes. Raping our sisters. Yes. Raping our mothers. Mm. Our mothers cannot go to farm again. Our mothers cannot go to farm work again. Our people, they are afraid to go out because of Fulani, because of Buhari and their brothers. We are calling on ICC to look into this matter and free us. We, Biafra, we want to go. Yes, we sir. are tired of Nigeria. Yes, we are tired of Nigeria. Yes, we don't want to be one again. Yes. Nigeria is like a marriage. And if you are tired of your marriage, you have to seek for divorce. Yes, now we need for divorce. We want yes, to go. You we don't want to, to be in that stupid marriage. We don't want to be in that stupid country. Mm. That stupid country corrupted by, by, by British. We don't want to be with them again, we want to go. Yes, Please, sir. we call on ICC to come into this matter. Yes, Let them free our leader, Mazen Nam De Carlo. Yes, For sir. a long time now, we never hear from him. We never hear his voice. But we have only one word to tell them. Yes. If anything happened to Mazen Nam De Carlo, in that zoo called Nigeria, no living soul, nobody, nobody We have rest of mind. We are going to give them whatever they want. Enough is enough. Let them enough. leave us. We want to go. Yes, sir. Oh, hey, Biafra. 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 The only thing we need is Biafra. The only thing we need is referendum. Yes, sir. Let them do referendum. Yes, sir. Let the people decide where they want to go. Yes, sir. Let the people decide where they feel like to go. Yes, sir. Nigeria marriage is tired. We, Biafra, we want to go. Yes, we sir. are afraid to go to farm work. Our mothers are being raped every day. But British people, they are seeing all these things, but they cannot say anything. Yes, sir. Now we are tired, we feel like to go. Yes, sir. Nigeria is the only country that produces more than 10,000 graduates every year. More than thousands of barristers and lawyers every year. But rather, they are still a lawless country. Nigeria is a stupid country, colonized by British. We are tired of them. Nigeria is a giant of Africa, led by illiterate full and man. We are now calling on ICC to come and set us free. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Thank you. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. IPOB. One family. We are one family all over the world. And we are just uh, passing the message for the world to hear and listen to us. We are telling them it is a moment that our leader has to be free. It is a time that we all be friends all over the world are agitating, asking for the freedom of entire Africa, not just Biafra alone. But particularly Biafrans have been persecuted. We are being murdered in numbers, killed. Our women are being raped. Our children are being killed. Our children cannot longer go to school safely. And because of our great leader, Mazin Amdekano, we all have a working. We have known the injustice 
people have known us for years that we have been keeping quiet due to we don't have somebody who will come openly to open our eyes. And now we we have our leader, Mazina Mdekano, who have enlightened us, letting us what letting us know what is happening in our premises. How will any headsman and the ginger weed, the earliest in Kaba? Supported by Nigeria government. Who they are all doing everything possible to subdue us, to keep us in darkness, to keep keeping us as one people, as Nigeria, which we are never. Right from the time, starting from the Ochoku, who saw the vision, exactly what is happening today, and, to, and tell us which many of our fathers who are saboteurs, just like it is happening today, Ojuku rose and fight strongly like a man to free us. And due to the infidel and infidels that we have in our midst, who are all saboteurs, they sabotage Ojuku, but with a little effort, we are able to push. And uh, so many of us today, as you can see all over the world, both those that believe and those that don't believe, they have seen the injustice and they have seen everything that is happening. So we, dear friends of today, this generation, we say never, 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 we, never, we, should we allow the Fulani Janjawi, the Fulani terrorists, the Bandri, the Fulani Hesmen, the, the, the elites in Northern State of Nigeria, as the zoo call them, we cannot allow them to take over our inheritance. We cannot allow them to take over our ancestral lands. We cannot allow them to ever come close to what our father left in our hands. Our ancestors are proud of Mazinam de Kano. Yes, our ancestors are proud of Mazinam de Kano. Yes, and to every IPOB member who is staying standing strong, despite the injustice, and we will definitely overcome. We will overcome. We want to tell them whether they like it or not, Masi Nam the Kano must leave. Biafra must come. Biafra must be actualized. There is nothing that will hinder it anymore. We have a working and nothing can ever take us back anymore. We are speaking it before the world that they will hear us, whether they like it or not. Because I don't know the reason why the Britain government has to go in referendum to be separated from European Union, you know, which they are the corner pillar that formed it. I could remember in 2016 when Britain government started the journey of referendum that we are agitating to be separated from European Union. You know. And I asked, how can Britain government who formed European Union be the one to force us for the camp? And the right question that comes to my mind is this. Britain did that in order to keep holding Africa captive. They did that because they discovered that their friends are coming up in numbers all over the world. To every nation you can make mention of, we, their friends, are there. We participate in every civil society all over the world. We are for good of the society of every nation. Our food is being touched. Why and how should we keep being under cage? in our own land. Why would we allow Britain government to keep sucking our meals and oils? We say no to that. We say no to that. And we are calling on European unions. So far they know the right thing to do in order to save life, to make it look like a civilized world. We want to tell them that we are not part of the, we are not part of the way world world, which they call us. We are not part of it. Come to intelligence in all over the world. Their friends are being mentioned. Come to education. Their friends are being mentioned. To which or whatever you can make mention of, we participate in every civil society. Why do we keep living under slavery? They told us so many years ago that slavery is gone and gone forever. But what we are experiencing today all over the world is more than slavery. Thousands of our youth are all over the world roaming around with no job. We are all over the world doing everything possible to succeed, both legal and illegal. Our dear friends, our youth, 
have been not giving the resident permit to wherever they went to residence. Even as a refugees, we have been denied the right to live, the right to work, the right to associate in every meaningful life in the country. But we live by strong and by threat. We keep making effort to change the society. We keep making effort to change everything, to change everything that comes under our own hands. We keep struggling, believing to live for better. We keep fighting that our children should live to inherit what our father left. Today, we are being killed in numbers, and the world keeps keeping quiet over this. I don't know why. 3.5 million Biafras being killed so many years ago. And up to today, they are still maltreating us. They are still treating us like no people existing. We, the generation of Igbo all over the world and called us all, we, the generation of Biafran, in wherever we are today, we are telling the world that our fathers have been killed, but we are saying, no, oh, that our life cannot go down until we get what we want, and what we want is Biafra. There are many thousands of mass in Amdikano all over the world today, which I am one among. And I am telling them, from what I have learned from Prince Mass in Amdikano, I have learned a lot. I am one of the students being coached to know my right, being called to speak for the right of my people, being coached never to take bribe and sell my children to the white people. And we are saying no to white supremacy over our nation. We are saying no to slavery with the occasionals. We are saying no to injustice with the hapless or not. And we are saying no to one Nigeria with life voice. Nigeria is never won and can never be won. If we can remember the day of amalgamation in 1914, our fathers, who we are rightly stand, said no to it. If we can remember a brewery accord, where the issue was raised by great Otomego Ochoko. Even though Ochoko is gone, but he's still living in us. He's the reason why Martin Amdikano has the voice all over the world. And he's the reason why so many of us youths and children of the Igbos and every tribe that relate with Igbos are saying, Biafra is our nation. Biafra is our nation. That rising sun is our inheritance. Yes, that rising sun called Biafra land is our heritage. Yes, the sun can never come from the east and die in the east. Yes. The sun must come from the east and spread the world. Yes, and that is what we are saying today. Biafra lies the freedom of Africa. Yes. Biafra lies the freedom of entire Africa. Sure. Biafra lies the freedom of entire black man race. Yes, we are saying today, yes, free yes, Biafra. Yes, Free Biafra, free Biafra, free, 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 free IPO leader, free Mars in Amdikano, free Biafra all over the world, free Biafra all over the world, free IPO in detention camp. I want to also use this opportunity to remind the leaders of the world how can a man be under his own nation? and live in a refugee camp. How can a man be under his own inherited land and live as a slave? We are saying no to this. No, no, no. I feel no. No. We said no. No. We said no because we have come to the knowledge of the white man. And they know the right thing to do. We are calling them to do the right thing. Because I said, it's not all about us who they are hearing from today. We may cry like all those who are seeing the future of their children being caged. We will cry. We may have nothing to do. But I am telling them, and I, remind, I am reminding them the, the word of my Teluga King. We said, the vision he saw must surely come to pass. He said, there will be a time his children will mingle with a white man and tell them their sins face to face without being afraid. He reminded them that he might be persecuted, but his children cannot be killed and be kept under cage. 
We have a dream. We are their friends. And the dream we have is that we have, have a number of children here in Western world who will definitely ask for the feet of their fathers that are being taken away from their land. Our children who are coming up in Europe, who are coming up in Asia, who are coming up in America, who are coming up in the Midwest, who are coming up all over the world. A day we come where they will stand in one accord as demand for the justice for their fathers. We want to tell them that today our voice may be sound, they may not listen to us, but our children will come with action. They will definitely come with action to bring justice to their parents. Justice must be done. And our children must know this. We will treat them in a way that they will know exactly what we are fighting for. We are fighting for our freedom. We are not tolerant like Nigeria government called us, the zoo. We are not in competition with any leaders of the world. If they are envying us, if they are jealousy, not to free us is because of our talents and every of our God given. They should free us because we are ready to trade with every world that is willing to trade with us in peace. We are not ready to make any trouble. We are not creating violence. Just like we are being guided by the police today. Just we are being guided by the white people who understand that what we are calling for is the right and our right belongs to the state. So we are saying, let them hear us. Let them hear us. To the every voice that is rising, that is taking part in this freedom call, should know that our children will ever live to remember them. I also want to ask a question to the foolish Africans, to the foolish leaders of Africans who always lie to celebrate the past and not the present. Today, Nelson Mandela has become one in history who have been celebrated all over the world. And they are quickly forgetting that Nelson Mandela was persecuted and sent to prison 21 years. 27. 27 years, I mean to say. They forget that, but today, Nelson Mandela has been placed in every white man land, even to those, to the door of those that persecute him. Today it's happening before us in the case of Prince Mazin Amdekanu, who is leader of IPOB. And instead of us to rise in one accord and stand with him, to speak for the justice, to speak for the freedom, to call for what belongs to us, many of us are moving ahead, collecting peanuts out of their wealth. How can you go behind to collect what belongs to you as a bribe? How can you go behind to ask for bribe over your own inheritance? What are you going to get when you are sabotaging your brother who wanted to be in total in charge of your belonging? Our fathers, they create Africa and they call it a continent. How can a continent be manipulated to be subdued and live on that other continent. Today we understand that European nations have shared Africa countries among themselves. Today we understand that Europeans have shared Africa countries among themselves and had a governors. But we are saying no to this. We are saying no to this. No. Except you want to come openly and tell us that slavery is still in church and in tight for us to know a better way to go in trade by butter. But when you say we are free, let us be free indeed. When you say slavery is no more, let us free and live freely like a free people. Why must you enter in everything that has to do with our life? Do you ever care of the future of Africa? Today, every manner of things is being introduced to us. And when it's been manipulated all over the world, it being called African made. When everything is dark, they call it a black man. But when it is good, they call it a white man. I want to ask, when and how, how long should we let this continue? We are saying no to that. Free Bia France. Free Bia France. Free Mazin Amdikano. Free Mazin Amdikano. I also want to let this... I also want to send this to the ear of the zoo government. 
I want to sound it with no apology. Just like so many of us that have made up our mind, the current concern, Biafra must insist. Yes, so, so. Too many of us today have said Biafra or death. Yes, and we are standing strong on that. Yes. I want to sound this great warning that it may take a thousand years for a man to cry, but in one day, a man must wipe out, uh, must wipe out his tears and stand for what he is sure that he rightly owns. We have cried for so many years. It is time that we say we can no longer shed tears for Nigeria government. We can no longer shed tears. We are calling that they may listen to us today. The time is now. The time is now. Anything beyond this is going into what they have been seeking for. They have been bargaining. They have been bargaining. They have been bargaining for war. And that war. We have been patiently enough not to embark on. But anything that made them force us on it, we are saying, all life must go, all life will go down just for our freedom to be achieved. It doesn't matter who we are for. Freedom is being given, and freedom is being taken. But when freedom is being denied, freedom is being taken. And we are saying we will take our freedom. We will take our freedom. Free Biafra! Free Biafra! Free Mazen and the Kano! We are telling them, the day is being given. If Nigeria government know the best to do, as they, as they claim they are the master of the game, we will tell them that we change the game before them. We will tell them that we are wiser than the wisest. We are telling them that we are braver than the bravest. We are telling them that we are like lions that never fear any animal in the zoo. We will tell them that hand to hand, we are ready to battle. Wisdom to wisdom, we are ready to engage. Stand foot to foot, we will march. We will tell them that eh, we are children. We are the tribe that can never be subdued forever. We are telling them on this. We are telling them this, that they may hear us now. Our cry today is for our children. We are telling the two government who are always made mention of constitution. The constitution you form that made to be for a particular people and against a particular people. That constitution we all know that is made to favor the houses. It's made to favor the fullness. That constitution you always do to make us know that you are leading a certain people by constitution. We are saying no to that constitution. We have never taken part of that constitution. And we will never be part of that constitution. We will be free. We must be free. And we are free people. Like we all know, Biafra is hardly mentioned in this. But today, Biafra can be mentioned all over the world. Biafra can be mentioned all over the world. Through the food of Mazin Amdekano. It's not just the reason why I always point out, not just Green, not just Biafra. You can see you do the worst rising up today. You can see me the best clamoring for freedom. You can see even the Aousas who are real Aousas, who we are part of that amalgamation, who we strongly believe that they are part of Nigeria, are also calling for independence of their own Arab nation. So, why are we not going on this? You always say your constitution. I will somehow say he wants to be free. I will somehow say he don't want to be in Nigeria. Yoruba man say he don't want to be in Nigeria. He don't say they don't want to be in Nigeria. A Delta man say he don't want to be in Nigeria. A river man say he don't want to be in Nigeria. Ibo man say he don't want to be in Nigeria. Who is in Nigeria? Nobody. Who is in Nigeria? Nobody. Nobody today that is holding Nigeria passport, all over the world that is proud of that passport. Nobody all over the world that is holding a Nigeria passport that is proud of it. You cannot be a citizen of a German, you cannot be a German, and you travel in every other nation, and can you not? You cannot be proud of the passport you are holding, even if it is a even if it is a resident permit, a one-year resident permit. 
you are proud to say you come from a Dutch land. If you are holding a Britain resident permit, in wherever you travel to, you will say you are proud to be a Briton. If you are holding any nation, even to the country, gone in jail, if you have their resident, you will say you will say you are proud to be in the jail. But today, nobody is proud to answer in Nigeria. Nobody is proud to bring out Nigeria passport in the public and say it's in Nigeria. So why? And I am asking, who is in Nigeria? Nobody. Who is in Nigeria? Nobody. Nobody is in Nigeria. The Fulani that are claiming to be in Nigeria today are missionaries. Who they call to come in number, to collaborate and take over Nigeria. And because we are Biafrans and we are selling freedom for Biafrans, they are coming over our lands, fighting us to take over. And we are saying no to that. Our central land must be secure. He has said it's our security and they must fight. They must fight to take over, to whatever it takes. It doesn't matter how many soldiers the so government sent. It doesn't matter how many soldiers the so government sent to fight our security be formed, to guide our farmlands. It doesn't matter how many soldiers they sent to kill our security mess but to secure our farmland, to secure our mothers, to protect them in the farm and protect their crop. Today we've seen in a lot of videos that when the Eastern Security Network drove away the full and the headman who come to destroy our farmlands and kill our mothers in the farm, the soldiers will be sent in order to destroy our farmlands. Why is it like this? How can you say Nigeria is a government? And when the terrorists is being sent to destroy farm and crop and kill the mothers, and the owner of the farmland drove them away, soldiers who are supposed to be for their life will move on to destroy the crop just because the terrorists will be sent away from farm. We are saying no to this. And we are saying freedom from us in Amdekano. Freedom. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Thank you all. Is another savior, holy, 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 holy. Namdekano is another savior, holy, 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 holy. Namdekano is another savior, holy, 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 holy. Namdekano is another savior. We're coming to the end of the program. We're coming to the end of the program. And we'll see you again in Muni on the 26th of July 2021 for the release of our great Namaz in Lamb All over the world, people are protesting against the, uh, against the rendition of our great Namaz in Lamb which the law of 1953 have already cover him, but Nigerian government broke that law in order to suppress what we are doing, but we say no, our freedom must be restored. Thank you very much, and may God bless you.